win last week. How do you expect your team to handle success tonight? Well, I just want us to play good football, and I want us to play our style of football. I want really good effort. I want our guys having fun, playing the game that they love together, and then sticking together through some adversity. We're going to get faced with some adversity tonight. That's understandable. It's football. But as long as we stick through it and fight through it together, we'll be okay. What's the next dimension of your quarterback when you were his game? You hope to see him unlock tonight. Well, I just want to make sure his composure is really good. He's fundamentally sound, and he's sticking to the plan. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate right, it. Thank you. And we're off and running. Kick goes into the end zone, and is the running back. He is making his Wyoming debut, a transfer from Northern Illinois. And it's a quick missed tackle and completion to Ayer Asante. Also play action. I think that's what we're seeing already early in this game. They got to make a way to adjust on the fly. And that is here. The atmosphere is electric. And the pass is complete. Svoboda rolls out under thrown. And the Texas defense on the game, you name it, he's only a freshman, one of the youngest on the team. It goes all out. Another carry, and this is into open territory. Harrison Whaley running away from the entire Texas defense. That's how you make 52 yards on the first drive of Harrison Whaley's Wyoming career. Got an inside zone play right there. Harrison Whaley sees the opening and then uses that breakaway speed to get it all the way into the end zone for 62 yards right there. Keishan wanted to see early in this game would that effort be there. But the, we saw them punch back, although it was later in that win against Alabama. And that kick is out of bounds before it gets into the end zone. The weak boards. It has been a busy week, but this is the young man that called the players only meeting before practice on Tuesday to make sure the focus was there. And we have some movement before the snap. And Offense number 76, five yard penalty, first down. Alabama, no procedural penalties against Bama. Absolutely, it's crazy. And CJ Baxter, Tuscaloosa, but Baxter, sort told us he would be surprised if he plays in this game as it's broken up. X. Second and 15, Ewers quick pass and behind AD mid. Whenever you're taking a look right there, Seems as though the ball is right behind him. He can't sell it in front of him. 15. Texas a bit out of sync to start this one offensively and defensively. Pressure on Ewers, but a clean pocket, and that's overthrown. To bring on the transfer from Stanford, Ryan Sanborn. Pawns it away. Caleb Cooley, the returner, inside the 20. Makes two Longhorns miss. A third to the 30. Eventually, so I'm curious what the ref's going to call. Personal foul, foul. illegal blindside block. block. Return team number 44, 15 yard penalty. First down. You're looking for 44 and Wyatt, the top right part of your screen there. The game, he's moving around here fine, really being a cheerleader almost for every single person, high five and all his, of his guys. He was out here during warm up, so it's unconfirmed. He played three quarters last week against Portland State. However, Swoboda, the man leading the charge, he will roll and throw. But here comes pressure. Swoboda to throw. Thompson jumped it. Thompson had himself a pick against Alabama. It was after a very difficult play with an interception. Good special teams by Wyoming, the best in the Mountain West Conference. End over end punt, Xavier Worthy. Some moves to the 50, still up, looking for blocks. He's got him to the 40, another stutter move. Worthy might be that spark on special teams as he cleans it, uh, cleans, feels it cleanly, and then finds a way to get upfield, make guys miss, and then create more after contact. The game for Texas, after a false start, all incompletions and a quick three and out. Swing pass to Keelan Robinson. Speed to burn. Gets a block by Worthy. That's one thing he loves to do. And if you take a look right here, 
Xavier Worthy finds a way to be physical at the point of attack. Gets Keelan Robinson an explosive play. First down for the... Robinson motions out. Ewers to throw. Lofts it to the end zone to JT Sanders. Overthrown incomplete. Can attend A.D. Mitchell at the bottom of the screen. Now in motion. It's going to go to Brooks. Running left side. <laughs> Texas already in four down territory. As we know, Sark likes to roll the dice inside the 20. This is where they need to punch it in. JT Sanders almost picked off by Wyatt Eckler. Absolutely right here. There's some pressure provided. They bring six more than Texas can block. Quinn Ewer tries to get it out fast to be able to get it to his outlet guy, not seeing that robber safety. Sets up a 37-yarder for Burt Auburn. And just like he did against Mac Brown in a documentary on the 05 championship team, that your back is going to be sore going into the next game because you've been patted on the back too much. Wyoming struck first, opening possession, touchdown by Harrison Whaley. Swoboda rolling. And finding Wyatt Whelan. On to the next opponent. Guys, Coach Sarkeesian did tell me before this game he expected to see his team to face some adversity tonight. We'll see how they respond here early in the first. Trying to bring down Harrison Whaley, who's has Jamari Farrell undersized. Whaley's the real deal. Swoboda stood up a bit at the line of scrimmage, but Wyoming gets the push. Big fella is still up. We got a penalty on the play as well. That came in late. Illegal substitution, defense, five-yard penalty was enough for a first down. Svoboda under center play action. They've yet to really hit on this look this season. Almost a one-handed catch by Gillenborg. We take a really good look at how he sneaks back behind the defense. They use the play action to their advantage since they're rushing the ball very well. He almost brings in a great... The Cowboys passing offense, only 132 through the year per game last season, 125 nationally. This is their bread and butter. Justice Finkley at the top of the screen. Swoboda wants to throw, looking to his right, and it's jumped. Somehow, it is caught by Wheeland. The man from Colorado Springs, Y. Wheeland. Yeah, one thing Wyoming is doing well is handling Texas's pass rush. We saw five sacks a week ago. They haven't been able to hit home against the voters quite yet, and then Wheeland makes it. Low snap. Swoboda with that high overhand delivery. And with Harrison Whaley running wild in his Wyoming debut. It goes back to Whaley, working the middle. And a flag on the plate before DQ James can get going. False start. Offense number 75. Earlier low, this is the first time Wyoming's playing on the road away from their skin. Pin the ears back. Get out to the quarterback. Anthony Hill, bottom of the screen, in traffic. Jade Barron breaks it up. About Jade Barron is he reads and he reacts. He's a student of the game. He knows they like to run those quick out routes. He sits on it, waits for them to be able to bait them into the throw, and then he breaks it up just like he did right here. It was fascinating talking to Jade. Understands the game at a different level. Punt is away. Were they calling for the fair catch at the 10-yard line? Evaluate successful running on. Percentage of the runs that go at least five yards. It is down this season, understandably, with Obijan and Rosha. Worthy got a block by A.D. Mitchell. Quick out. A.D. Mitchell staying up. Their defensive coordinator, Jay Solvell. They also do not flip, which allows them to handle tempo more. So defense needed more time to match the substitution from Texas. Brooks patient. It's got a big hole up the middle, lowering the shoulder. It's a run right there. You got your outside zone. 
Jonathan Brooks cuts it up. Gain of 12 right there. JT Sanders key on that block too. Brooks weaving. Another large pickup on first down. Mash mode, comeback, same play. Now he hits a little bit different. Jonathan Brooks makes two guys miss and then picks up more. Yo Keelan Robinson, no CJ Baxter so far tonight. More toughness, right side, Brooks. And Blue gets the carry. And we got a fly. Offense number 70, five yard penalty. Still first down. One of those from Brooks, and they were able to draw Alabama offside to really ice the game. There's Blue, no for the speed. It's going to go back to Blue. And Blue ran into Cole Hudson there. And it looks like Brooks makes contact with him, and as he goes down, oh, Ooh. the left leg. This may be one that you want to glance away from. Big third and seven. Going to play it safe. And we're going to Jonathan Brooks on fourth and one. Ewers will pick it up. But we've got a whistle before the snap. And it's actually going to be a timeout on Texas. Made the part of Jalen Milrow for the scout team a week ago. Takes the snap and will keep. Red. Looking like no row. Bojan right there got the Wildcat, got the lead blocker, and Jonathan Brooks. He goes physical on the safety. Savion Red takes his time. By Steve Sarkeesian to convert on fourth down. Little play action. And that is complete to A.D. Mitchell. He one that they can rely on late in games, too. To Brooks. Christian Jones giving him a block, reverses field. 68 yards, most of that on the ground. Critical third down, A.D. Mitchell back to Worthy. Will he throw it again? Worthy thinking about it, trying to get the edge. Damn, I thought he was going to do it there. Yeah, absolutely. A smart play right there. Quinn Ewers was not open. He's also facing pressure right at the point whenever they exchange the ball for the reverse. Quarterback position. Red will take it. Red lowering the shoulder and converting. Play that they did the last fourth down conversion. Faking it with Jonathan Brooks. Jonathan Brooks slows in. And then Savion Red just says, I will not be denied right here as he picks up that fourth down conversion. Six yards for Red. He was that got him on the back end of that rotation, slowly working his way back into a more prominent role. Worthy, one man to beat. Can't beat him. For Ewers, 14th play of the drive. Ewers felt pressure, steps up, and there is Gunner Helm. Will he get it? No! Phenomenal play call right there. Steve Sarkeesian uses that automatic positioning that Gunner Helm has. Man, he hides him so well. Play action to Jonathan Brooks. Finds him slipping out. Gunner Helm short. Wyoming. And Byron Murphy at fullback in front of Brooks. And they're going to stop this play. Timeout. On this drive. Brooks, patient, hit short of the goal line, stood up. Right at the nose of this defense, you see those defensive linemen and those linebackers making physical plays. That's what Coach Bowl was talking about, was the heart and soul about this Cowboy Tough defense. By the amount of plays for the Longhorns this season, Murphy in at fullback. Will he lead? They're going to go to Murphy! The oh. big boy! Byron Murphy! You get a big man touchdown. You get a big man touchdown dance. Tell us he's the modern Roshan Johnson, but he was talking leadership skills, not skills out of the backfield. One thing he does well, we already know he is an absolute beast. I did not have that one on the bingo card. Byron Murphy, of all large figures out of the backfield and into the end zone, 10 Seven Texas Lee, Malcolm Brown, Byron Murphy, two of the hardest playing dudes you will see. Wyoming going back to the ground attack. For the record, Byron Murphy hitting the first couple of snaps off. We'll be out there shortly, though, as that is a first down conversion by Harrison Whaley. Checking in at tailback, Evans Foboda 
Doing the same at quarterback. The undersized James hit hard and hit quick rotation for the Longhorns defense. Second and nine. Svoboda. Throwing on the run and complete to Wyatt Whelan. Again, utilizing the play action outside zone scheme. Gets Svoboda out of the pocket, away from those dangerous pass rushers. Finds Whelan on the sidelines. Back years in the transfer portal. The first of those being Isaiah Nayor, right here at the University of Texas. Swoboda takes a hit. He's still up, but the second man will get him. That's a physical Ryan Watts. Wyoming wants to get the quarterbacks involved in the play, at least with Andrew Peasley, and we're seeing it now with Savota as big as he is, the physical run. Swoboda with the screen, and it's almost picked off. Where is the ball? Past all the linemen. Hey, look at me. I'm right here, but Vernon Broughton does a great job being able to put his hands up. Roboda being chased, staying up. Jalen Ford will not get him. Sack. Right there, he provided a great move. They run a stunt. Vernon Broughton 101, and he finds a way to get the pressure onto Savota and then obviously flushes him out of the pocket for a loss of three yards right there. So, with this momentum, and Wyoming will have to punt it away. The pressure comes. For it. Keelan Robinson almost got another. Worthy will make the return. They went back to the 10, trying to get to the sideline. He gets up. Slip six. Texas still not stretching the ball down the field. Not sure if the looks are there. What's going on? Texas team already in the first three weeks of play drops and just not being on the same page. If they can find a way to eliminate the drops, they have more explosive plays that they can give this Texas team. Worthy's got one. Brooks has one. Cook has one. This is a talented receiving core. And I have another one, Jordan Wellington. Timing right. We've seen it already on the downfield passing plays. And then it seems as though the expectation of the ball getting to them at that time is not what they wanted. Lie on Sabion Red and those fourth down conversions from the Wildcat. Good time. JT Sanders. One thing about Easton Gibbs, he is a very Good and a proficient runner. They talk a lot about how well he can run sideline to sideline. Got a little handsy there. And almost a great catch by Jatavian. Sanborn punts it away. Caleb Cooley back in. Side is 30. Wyoming with DQ James and at running back. Have not scored since the opening drive. James stood up by Devontae Sweat. And the rest of the... Texas defense has bowed up since. That's wheeling in motion. We'll see that look a lot. Back to James as Broughton is blocked out of the play. Swoboda complete. The time A. Barrett is there. He is a field general, and he's able to read. He knows about the quick outs, and he jumps on it quickly. Punted away. Texas State transfer. It's a high one. And that is going to take a Wyoming bounce all the way from. Big reason why Texas has the 10-7 lead because of those fourth down conversions. On the touchdown drive, it was sluggish starts and offsets. So this is one of those games, style points don't mean anything. Just find a way to get a dub against a solid and tough team. Viewers, the floating touch, and it's overthrown from Xavier Worthy like a first overall pick against Alabama and then coming back down to earth in this game. Yeah, I think that's been the problem of Texas over the years is not being able to show the consistency week in and week out and that's starting to come up a little. Three receivers, bottom of the formation and you can add Brooks down there. Viewers clean pocket, Worthy going backwards and is brought down a final see. You look in here, offensive line provides a great pocket and time for Quinn to make a good pass. It's thrown short. A 50 yarder the last time he booted it. It's away again. Caleb Cooley back it up from the 20. Burns pass Robinson. Cooley is still up and it is brought down. 18 nothing. And then looked a little sluggish last week against Portland State, an FCS opponent. 341 for Evans Woboda. 
Wyatt Wheeland on the ground. So many different looks to give him. He's upended. You got to read quarterback can be able to keep it, or he hands it off on the jet sweep type of look. Wyatt Wheeland was that guy that was taking it around. Project his late round picks, but it is just solid football all around. Baron Sorrell. It's a line. We know Wyoming, they want to establish the run. Can Texas find a way to make those adjustments and then start getting TFLs after controlling the line of scrimmage? And Baron Sorrell did just that on that play. Third and five. No snap. Swoboda, the rifle to Whelan. Third and manageable. And find your mismatch and then get it out quickly. Don't even allow that Texas rush to become a factor as they convert another first down to be able to keep the sticks moving for this Wyoming offense. You don't see a lot of throwing on the football. Under two minutes left here in the first half. DQ James. Met by the Texas defensive line. Regardless if they score or not. Swoboda to the tight end. Trayton Welch. A bit more to try to get in a scoring range for a field goal. Swoboda. Over the middle to the tight end and Welch. Now you got to be careful though. They try to use that aggressive nature against them, but Jade Barron finds a way to make a play again and force this Wyoming offense to make a decision. Do they go for it? Get as close to zero as possible. Now Bull wants the timeout. It, something is not clicking with this offense. So no one deep for Texas. The deepest man is Jalen Catalan at the 40. Trying to make sure nothing tricky happens here. And it's going to be a straight punt. And that punt will come to a rest. This is yet to convert on a third down. Two key fourth down conversions setting up the Byron Murphy touchdown. That is Jonathan Brooks. Back to Brooks. Stout, especially at the defensive tackle position. Ewers throwing on the run, complete to Jordan Winnington. In short, and they have the open playbook. Steve Sarkeesian calls the flood route, gets Jay Xavier Worthy for that first down. 14 yards. Texas is yet to have a play of more than 20. And that is going to draw a flag. Offense number 76. Five yard penalty. And more bad news for this Texas offense, guys. Right guard Cole Hudson went down with a left lower body injury in that first quarter. He was carted off the field. He just came back out a few minutes before the start of the third quarter. And he's out with a left knee injury out here on crutches. All of his teammates coming up to him, patting him on the back. And DJ Campbell now will get most of the snaps there. They do have young depth along this offensive line. Third and nine inside the 50 in the Texas offense. Another clean pocket for Ewers, and this is open for A.D. Mitchell. Remember we talked about keeping Quinn clean in the pocket. Offensive line along with Jonathan Brooks keeps it clean and pretty. Quinn pass. 16 yards to Jaden Blue on the ground. That is one of the defensive tackles that the Wyoming staff says is better than a few of the teams have in the Big 12. Ewers pump fakes. Got her held. Helm is looking for his second catch. He's playing for the Wyoming secondary. Yeah, get down in the red zone, trying to take a shot there, faking the screen to Jaden Blue down below. Trying Holding their own. Third and nine. Ewers pressured and brought down. Yeah, this is one. They just not in sync right here. We saw a little bit of this happen with Rice, where they gave up three sacks. Not necessarily from a physical getting beat physically, but rather because of not being on the same. And the opener against Rice. Sanborn with the punt. Was a touch in the end zone, though. He's now seven yards away from doing that against Texas, but the Cowboys are backed up. That will help solve that. In the inside zone, this is where they've had tremendous success. Being able to get the backers to flow over top, push the line of scrimmage. Evan Swoboda making his first career start. No Andrew Peasley. We still do not know why. But they broke 
Don't fix it, but this time the Texas defense is there. That's where they're finding success tonight against Texas. Longhorns took so much pride in stopping the run last season. They've done that through the first two games of the year. Not having success tonight. Swoboda to an open man out of the backfield is Devin Bonnie, Wyoming. Absolutely, and they go right back to the speed out, man. That's where their bread and butter is made. Get the balls out of the quarterback hands quickly. Allow your playmakers to work in space, but don't allow that Texas defensive line to put pressure on the quarterback. Alex Brown in motion. Going back to Harrison Whaley. Whaley met quickly and with authority. Swoboda, a lot of rope to Wyatt Whelan. That's been his go-to guy. No sacks, no tackles for loss for the Texas D. All sorts of time for Swoboda. Downfield and the catch on the sideline. Yeah, this is where Texas, you need to find a way to create pressure right there. Wyoming's offensive line does a great job handling the three-man rush and the stunts. Finds his man, Asante. Tackles 75, Frank Crum. Could be a late-round draft pick. On the ground. And DQ James. Looks like Christopher Ross is down, the redshirt freshman from Houston North Shore. His final year in Laramie before returning to the 40 acres. So Christopher Ross was just carted off. We'll get an update when we can. No snap again to Spoboda. And that is overthrown in a late flag. Wow. So let's see. This is on the sophomore, Terrence Brooks. Oh, that ball is four yards, five yards over the head of Ryan Marquez. Not even close. First red zone trip of the night for the Cowboys. Wheeland with the carry. Wheeland will be hit and dropped. DQ James the tailback. Play action. Swoboda looking back to James, going in zone and overthrow. Staying over top, not getting persuaded by the initial movement in the eyes of the quarterback, playing his zone and then being able to force a contested catch right at the end zone. Great play. Good play clock winding down. Wyoming gets his snap off to Wheeland. Wheeland is brought down. They got the 6'5 quarterback, Kevin Swoboda. It looked like movement on the right side of the line. Because they rushed to the line, and it looked like the entire right side moved early. The line the game is the nine yard line. So Very close. Elbow is down. Don't have a definitive look of the ball at that angle. The elbow it is down there. It's obviously cleared the 10, but it still looks short of the 9. Remember, they need clear and concise evidence to be able to overturn this. Norman on the field stands. It'll be fourth down. Swoboda will keep. He's got the first down. They have been developed into a tough out. Swoboda, all sorts of time. Here's Sorrell tracking him down. Swoboda trying to get the edge. And he's forced out at about the 10-yard line. Possibly could to track him down. Stays flat, flushes him out of the pocket. 
How about this referee being Cowboy Tough? He pops right up. <laughs> Two minutes left in the third quarter. Svoboda switching things up. Still plenty of time on the play clock. They go to Harrison Whaley. Whaley met by the entire Texas defense. Yeah, just watch this push they all get. You got a stunt. You got two guys free in the backfield. And then Alfred Collins being able to stuff it whenever it reaches him. That's the just win. Third and goal. Play clock was at zero. No flag. Surround! for Baron Sorrell coming off the edge. Hey, you are gonna put two, three people on me, it doesn't matter, I'm gonna roll right by them, and I'm gonna give my Texas team an opportunity to create some momentum and force a field goal attempt here by Wyoming. John Hoyland comes on. He's a master of 50 plus, the kick is up, and it is good. So with 20 seconds left to go here in the third quarter. Kick is away, Keelan Robinson. Takes it with the footstep of the goal line. Gets a block from Jordan Winnington, and it's out to the 25-yard line. So no C.J. Baxter tonight. Brooks and a nice run. Still up to the 40-yard line. Complete here in Austin, Texas. A pivotal fourth to come. Wyoming 10. Texas 10. Coach, you told me before the game you expected this team to face adversity. What response do you need to see from your offense here in this fourth quarter? Well, now we're just going to come down to executing here in the fourth quarter in all three phases. And that's a good start right there, running the football. we got to be able to stop the run defensively on first down so we can get off the field on defense. And then we got to extend drives on offense. So we had a good first drive. That was just a really short quarter. So Brooks, back-to-back, -back, solid carries. Quick toss and Xavier Worthy. Worthy oh, is still out. The Bengals, the sideline. He's tough. He's fast. He's Xavier Worthy. House call. That is how you turn it around at the drop of a hat. One of the most complete playmakers in all of college football. Absolutely amazing. Extremely explosive. Doesn't matter who you are, you are not catching a Xavier Worthy. You can say the drones, but give me Xavier Worthy streaking down that sideline. When it's the truth, it's the truth. Disconcerting signals on the defense. The defense clapped for the Cadets. Half the distance to the goal, we're going to try to run in the one and a half. And there it is. And this is the type of. Saturday night, the folks here inside Darrell K. Royal Texas Memorial Stadium were anticipating. Fair catch. So Wyoming will take over at the 20. Touchdown. Whatever he was thinking, Morgan, it certainly worked. Wyoming running into a brick wall. Here's where depth plays a factor. Whenever other guys are getting tired, it seems like Texas's rotation on the defensive side of the ball allows them to become stronger. And you see it on that play right there with Devontae Sweat in the big TFL on first down. So big, you can't miss him. Wyatt Wheeland, wide open. Roberta to throw. It's short of the sticks. Barron up ends. Wheeland. It's his defense tonight. What a huge hit right there. Again, a numbers game. Sabota could have handed it off. He sees that he likes the numbers on the outside. But number 23 says, you didn't see me making that play right there as he forces the big hit on Wyatt Wheeland. Worthy is back deep. No pressure from Texas. Got a good return set up here. The moves. Trying to shake free of a leg tackle up and over. Tolivon. Last time out, Xavier Worthy electrified the place. Touchdown catch. I do expect to see C.J. Baxter, true freshman from Florida, back in action next week for the Big 12 opener. Again. For Cole Hudson, 
He was knocked out of the game in the first half. Third and one. Jonathan Brooks Ooh. into the open field. One man. Do you have enough? Brooks, the stiff form, still battling. Cutting the field inside the 10 to the foul. One yards of relentless running from Jonathan Brooks. Will he get the payoff in the pay dirt? What a big hole right there. The offensive line able to give Jonathan Brooks some running room. Jonathan Brooks uses that stiff arm to be able to extend it, allow those two people to hit each other and put himself in. Brooks tackled for a loss. And that's one right there. Wish you could have back. Jonathan Brooks almost stays up, but unfortunately can't. <laughs> <laughs> he got his touch early in the game, the first touchdown for the Longhorns. Ewers now behind the block from Christian Jones. Pater, Quinn Ewers, the man that held the players only meeting before practice on Tuesday, picking it up at the right time, five yards and in. And they allow Quinn Ewers to be able to maintain on the read option and find his way into the end zone. Even take some contact, stay up, find his way there huge score and then Quinn Ewers shows you some of that emotion at the end as to why this Texas team is to be reckoned with this year. Yeah it's his team. It shows a lot though how even with the early game struggles that in some part after further review the ruling on the field stands touchdown ultimately what the fans need is a winning product Stop the field. Finally showing emotion, chest bumping without an eye. Mitchell saying, let's go, let's go. Finally getting. Benefit Texas if they can just find a way to hold on regardless of the final score. Four of them coming into this game. Three of them lost fumbles from the running back position, but Harrison Whaley has given them a completely different look. They're picked up. Give them six. A pick six. Jaron Thompson back to back games with interceptions. That's a big one. That's Jaron Thompson's second pick in two weeks straight. This one goes the distance. Phenomenal play, phenomenal read by him being able to help this Texas defense get their first turnover on the night. When you talk about a heady player, he could have gone in a different direction. Came back with an interception on the very next play from scrimmage. Does it again here. 27 yard return. The DBs have said. We cannot let Jalen Ford and the linebackers have more interceptions than us. Well, they're doing a good job right there. Jaron Thompson with two. Jade Barron had one last week. They are putting it on right now against Wyoming. The last of them and flipped the momentum in the fourth quarter. They will accept it and take it all the way to the house. Big plays to help change the outcome of this game. Swarming Texas defense. Ways to get success even whenever it looks ugly. Showing some resiliency in this game. See what's left in the tank for Wyoming. Backwards. Mama, there go that man. Finds a way to Vondre Sitz. Splits the double. And then Anthony Hill Jr. comes to clean him up. What a great play by those two guys, not letting Harrison Whaley stop. Talk about Anthony Hill. Reminded me a lot of the stories that I heard about VY and his playing days on the offensive side of the football. Third and eight for Svoboda. Pressured and hit. That's where this Longhorn pressure comes into play. You can't block them all. And even if you have a man on them, there's still somebody being able to make a play. Byron Murphy shows exactly why he was one to be reckoned with on that defensive line. Eight. Wyoming, plenty of time to get the punt off. And Xavier Worthy retreating to the 25. Oh, he's making wow. a move. Whittington gives him a block. He's got real estate. A block from Crawford. Keelan Robinson is running with him. Gets a block from Burke and is taken down Fun on his chest. Absolutely extremely dynamic. Made the guy eat turf on the way of this dynamic and explosive run right there. Xavier Worthy is that dude. On special teams. <laughs> How about him utilizing his speed to take out that cowboy punter? 
right there. I don't think he knew what he was in for, but Keelan Wild Robinson made sure. It was only a 32-yard return, even though I'm pretty sure he ran 80 yards <laughs> reversing <laughs> fields. Brooks staying up. Christian Jones trying to keep him moving forward. Really good one-two punch with him and C.J. Baxter when he returns. Here's Jaden Blue. Brings a little more make you miss than Baxter. On that play. Third and three. And there is Blue. Blue will move the chains. Ball is out. Wyoming has it. This season, and it comes at the hands of the running back. It pains me to say that as a running back. But the critical part about this is that you're five minutes and 56 seconds left in this game. You know they're going to be stripping the ball. I'm sure Coach Choice has already reiterated, take care of the football. Season first team, all about was conference. Little sweep action. And that is Asante. Wayland in motion. DQ James with the carry. Anthony Hill takes him down. Liz, you can find Anthony Hill there. He makes a great read right there on the inside zone play. He slow plays it, waits for the running back to cut back, and then it brings back some memories of Derek Johnson in terms of the linebacker making an impact from day one on the 40 acres. James is tripped for a really good start. That correlated with an injury to Andrew Peasley. Suffered a concussion at the end of the season. The team just was not right after that. Uh, he controlled the line of scrimmage on the offensive side early on in this game. And the pickup of Harrison Whaley, getting him back healthy, that is going to be huge for the Cowboys, as that is Jamari Farrell. That work, and you know, you need to go out with a bang with your telestration work. Straboda flipping it out to Trayton Welch. Welch to the 15. And he is brought down by Derrick Williams Jr. Like I mentioned, Wyoming, even though they are down 21 points right now, they are still playing as if everything is on the line, and that's what you want to see. Evan Sabota staying very calm, cool, and collected in a pocket. Change left for the Wyoming Cowboys. James with a carry, trying to bounce it left side. There is a flag down, and he's dropped by Keith Crawford. Offside, defense number 45, lined up in the neutral zone. Five-yard penalty, first down. Two points on the board. Clock keeps running. 145 left. James gets the carry between the tackles inside the five yard line. There's Malik Muhammad. He's a true freshman of his already has played some major minutes and dropped for a loss. Vernon Broughton, although turf monster. And right there, go get a TFL for the amount of yardage that you almost gave up on the penalty. So these teams. Roboda play action rolling. Anthony Hill recognizes. He's going to late break on Svoboda with that. Third and Cole. Play clock widened down. Svoboda rolling to his right, throwing on the line. And that is Gillenborg in for the touchdown, but there is a flag. Pass interference. Offense, number 81. 15-yard penalty. So one tight end wiping out a touchdown catch for another tight end. That's Welch, 81, called a little bit of a pick there. It was a field goal. Conservative call to James. And James is brought down by Javon Tapp. Retro freshman from Donaldsville, Louisiana. Surprised by the play call right there. I thought they'd stay a little more aggressive. Try to put points on the board going off in that third quarter, but Seems as though that'll be it. How about this? Texas moves to 3-0 for the first time since 2012. Wow. It's been far too long. Too long. Tell me how concerned you were at halftime. I was very concerned, and I still have concerns, but a win is a win.